So in this video, we're going to look at, in chemistry, what a catalyst is and what it does in terms of a chemical reaction. Now, I have a 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, and I filled it with 200 milliliters of water and 50 milliliters of copper sulfate granules to give a 250 milliliter concentrated solution of copper sulfate, giving the characteristic blue color of copper sulfate solutions. Anyway, off to the side, I've got an empty Coke can that I'm cutting up into pieces because I want to use the aluminum in this reaction for a single displacement reaction so that I can get the copper out of the copper sulfate and thereby get aluminum sulfate and copper metal that precipitates out of solution. Now while I'm getting that aluminum ready and rolling it into strips and then I'm going to deposit it in our solution here. And I've just dropped the piece in there and you notice that there might be a little bit of gas bubbles coming off and that gas would be hydrogen gas but as you see there not much is happening in terms of reaction so I'm going to grab my second strip of aluminum that I've cut out of the can and I'm going to add that to the flask as well here and I've added that to the solution now and as you see, even with that piece added again, there may be just a little bit of bubbling, but there's not a whole lot going on. And while the reaction is occurring, it's occurring rather slowly. And this would take hours to days to dry the reaction to completion before we get my copper metal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the reaction rate of the aluminum reacting with the copper sulfate by adding a catalyst and in this case I'm going to add sodium chloride just ordinary table salt pour that into the flask here give it two good doses of sodium chloride and as you can see almost immediately you start to see more hydrogen gas bubbling off the solution there and it's going to start picking up pace and the reaction of aluminum with copper sulfate is an exothermic one. It gives off energy in the form of heat, which brings the reaction to boiling temperatures, and also gives off hydrogen gas, which you see bubbling out of solution here. So why did adding the sodium chloride to the solution of copper sulfate and aluminum cause the reaction to start up? And get to driving to completion versus not having it at all. Well, a catalyst is basically it's something that you add to a chemical reaction to help drive it forward, but it does not add anything to the reaction itself, meaning it does not become a source and it does not become a product of the reaction, meaning sodium chloride goes in and sodium chloride comes out. The only things that are changing in this reaction is the aluminum and the copper sulfate. The sodium chloride stays the same throughout the whole reaction. That is what a catalyst is. It's just something you add to a chemical reaction so that you can get the reaction going and get it going faster, hence catalyze being a catalyst. And so as you see here, you know, the hydrogen gas is bubbling away and again the reaction is also heated up to boiling temperatures because you can see the water vapor condensed on the sides of the flask there and also coming out of steam out of the top there because of the rate of reaction by getting it catalyzed with that sodium chloride. So anyway, again, this is a single displacement reaction between aluminum and copper sulfate, thereby giving us aluminum sulfate and then copper metal that precipitates out of solution, which is what I'm after. So this overall reaction is going to take about an hour to an hour and a half. So we'll speed this up and look at the end product toward the end of the video.